Hello YouTube, this is Wyoming's Alcoholic. I uh, was doing speakers in my 99 Suburban today, which is pretty much the study specimen of every one of my automotive videos so far, but one of these days I'll do some different ones on my truck or maybe something at work. Work on a lot of buses at work, um, Bluebirds, uh, Internationals, MCIs, all kinds of different things there, even golf carts and uh, Polaris Rangers. So we do a wide variety of repairs, but I did the front speakers on this Suburban, and let me tell you, it was kind of a pain in the butt. I got these speakers off Amazon, they're boss, they're not great speakers, but hey, they'll work, you know, and I got the little quick connector, so I didn't have to splice anything, so I thought I'd go easy. Uh, you still have to drill the holes, uh, the way the old speakers come out is a little bizarre, there's a clip and then they hinge out, and you still have to take your door panel off, because it's actually in the interior part of the metal door panels where it attaches. So I went through all that, and a few cuss words, because you know, of course, the Chevy or GM and their infinite wisdom just designs things beautifully like clips and stuff that come out of the uh, window Controls and the door locks that just seem to not come out or be accessible You can't see what the hell they are without dumping everything out of the door panel and just great things like that. So <laughs> Anyway, so uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you something so I went to the rear door on the, on the passenger side and I took the panel off and it was a lot easier I snapped it off and and went through there and, and uh, replaced the speakers and or got to the speaker and I realized I didn't have to take the panel off. There's a much easier way to do this. Let me show you how. Ah. Let's see, so uh, here's my door. Here's the speaker panel, right? Um, I'm just gonna pop this off like this, right? Bam, okay? Then you take your screwdriver. Well, here. Let's get let's get a um, let's get something here that's going to help us a little better. You got a uh, trying to get to this. So you see these little buttons on these stupid things. And they pull out. And I don't know what these are called. I'm sure GM mechanics will know. <laughs> I call them a pain in the butt. But anyways, so you take your 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 dikes I mean maybe don't squeeze very hard like be very careful what you're doing here so yep you grab the center part of this button I'll show you here in a second see that you got that center part pull it up bam okay you got four of those I'm gonna set it down here for a second forgive me if you can't see because I'm a videographer. I am the videographer. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go right here. Number three. Let's grab number four. Okay. Folks, don't. Don't take your door panel off. Be smarter than I was. Um, because I did the front the front ones first, so I thought, you know, Chevy, they probably gonna do the rear ones the same way, but nope. What they should have done is made the front ones come out just how the rear ones do. But as I said, I, I own three GMs, don't get me wrong. I'm not a GM hater, but I almost hate their engineers more than I hate Bluebird bus engineers. <laughs> On the transit side, anyways. So, okay, so here we go. Our speaker comes right out, right? So, here's our speaker. And of course, these have a, a little button right there. So, yep, your little button, stupid tab, push that in. Let's take a walk over here. I'll show you guys what I got. See if I can find it. There it is, right here. So I bought these little things. So you don't have to cut or splice wires. Okay. So, anyways, guys, you, you get your new speaker here. Um, hopefully. You're buying better than boss. It's just I have some warm speakers and money's a little tight, so if you're on a budget like me, maybe you have to buy top boss too, but it sounds better than a blown speaker. And at the price, they actually don't sound terrible, at least the front ones don't. So anyway, so we have our new speaker. Again, forgive me for sporadic video, I just don't have a videographer. So like I said, I have this guy right here. Um like I said, they, these sizes are all, they fixed it to where, like I said, when I was a kid, 
wiring stuff in <laughs> white and black weren't necessarily negative it whatever however you run your run your wires from your speakers to your stereo but now they've sized them differently so can't do that anymore so kids of today have a relief <laughs> so anyways we have that connector and here we go so it's going to connect Sorry. like i said this is real easy now bam okay here's the other thing see the space in here there's no window or window regulator in there unlike with the front one i will tell you be very careful when you put these extensions on there because guess what the window comes down at the very lowest spot of the window it hits the harness so um what i had to do was position the speakers and they happen to be the right way but to where boss reading was upright inside of the door so in other words if you were inside the door you could read the word boss across without being upside down and then i angled the wires downwards off the prongs so i just bent the prongs down a little bit and then i put a zip tie right behind the connector and halved the the extension because what the extension does is it it pushes the wire out more to where that harness is now hitting the bottom of the window when the regulator takes it all the way down so now you have another issue so if you're doing aftermarket speakers in the front particularly if you're putting an extension on there or extra wire uh, be very careful because that window may be hitting that harness <laughs> these holes will line up perfectly you just have to kind of anchor this in a little bit you don't have to drill holes or nothing put that one in push it in bam number one secured bam is secured. Bam. Number three is secured. You might say, where's number four? I don't know. <laughs> I kicked it over. It's out here in my driveway somewhere. But, anyways, and then all you do, guys, and as soon as I find that, I'll put that one on too. But simple. So, then you take the cover. All right. And I just have all these little hooked tabs on here, you'll see it. But pretty much, they go in one way. I start on one end, I work it around. If you weren't shooting a video, you can do that. I bet the fastest person in the world could probably do that in 30 seconds if you have everything laid out. So, front doors, door speakers are probably going to take you. Hopefully, this video may give you a little bit of insight. Um, but they're going to take you least half an hour a door your first time if I did it professionally maybe 15 minutes if I was quicker but like I said I had to fight the wiring harness and figure out how everything's set in there your rear doors are going to take you a minute a piece tops so especially if you have those harnesses if you don't well you're gonna have to splice and do that but so anyways ah I just wanted to show you guys how quick that quick and easy that is to do one of them rear speakers in a 99 Chevy Suburban and like I said, I, I'm sorry all my videos are on the Suburban, but I, nothing really breaks down other than that damn truck. So I did a uh, alternator in my wife's minivan the other day. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, excuse my language. But um, there's many, many things I have done with the Suburban. I've done transmissions. I've done ball joints. I've done pitman arms. I've done idler arms. I've done AC work. Uh, numerous things. It's just... When I'm working on stuff, I just want to fix it. These videos I do for quick things that may be of interest or help to you guys. And like I said, I've gone, gone on YouTube and found how-to videos, so I kind of want to pay it forward. Just to help everybody learn from each other and make things a little bit easier for everybody. So, Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And this is Wyoming's Alcoholic. And as always, stay classy Wyoming and have a great day.